All these flavors are just gonna meld in there. Let's go. Follow me. <laughs> this is thyme, bay leaf. I'm gonna put some rosemary in there and parsley. What's next going in? Little livies. This is all good stuff. You can salt a little bit now, but I like all the flavors that come out and then you can adjust the salt at the very end. Because we're gonna reduce for so long. Yeah. And when you reduce a stock, you're, you're just removing liquid, all the water, and then it, sometimes it gets it's salty, depending on what you're cooking. I'm gonna use coriander. It doesn't even call for it, but I like coriander in there since we're, again, gonna strain everything, so. And that's it, dude. Now we're gonna bring this up to a boil. Coriander is when we were just talking about bolting herbs and you have to pay attention, it's just cilantro. It's the beads of cilantro once it bolts. So if you let your cilantro go too long, it's very lemony, it's wonderful. I'm gonna add some heat to this at the very end. It's another thing like salt, I don't wanna fuck with it. But again, this is just bringing this up to a boil, reducing it once it has a high boil, reduce it to like medium low. But once you jar this at the very end, the fat from the chicken skin and joints and stuff will rise to the top of your jar, which you can then remove. Some people like that. I like the fat, keep the fat. Yeah, chicken bone broth tastes like Thanksgiving in a cup. It's so rich. So, so much. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it's a, again, basic white bitch thing. It's like popular in LA now, where they drink that for health purposes because the collagen's really good for your skin and, and your organs. But uh, chicken broth is just a base, because I usually use this shit. This is all preservatives, dried out nonsense that's just a concentration of sand and flavors. Right? So in a pinch, if you're making a soup or a stew, yeah, it'll work. But if you do this right every now and then, this is a big thing for like Sundays. If you just make, it's like gravy, so if you just make a broth, put half of it in the freezer, keep one for five days, make your own fucking chicken noodle. It's a gift for you. Yeah, holy shit. First date gift, I brought you some broth. She's calling the cops, dude. <laughs> she is calling the cops. Isn't it beautiful in its simplicity? When you make your own broth, dude. So we're gonna make that Greek soup and we're gonna use eight cups of this. And that's that. There you go. And that's that. Ah. When's the mm. last time you had peanut butter and celery together? Oh, cream cheese and celery. That was our snack growing up. It's an Italian thing, I or a Philly thing. Oh, dude, you gotta try it. I got some cream cheese in there. It's a little more savory than it is sweet. Our peanut butter option's a little too much for kids. I was wrecking bags of gummy bears, so my parents were probably like, try the cream cheese. Just two fucking rabbits. It's so good. Especially when you don't wash them and you got a little bit of that chemical left on. It's the first thing I put in my mouth today, so I'm pretty excited. Fuck. Yeah, that's well, perfect out. <clears throat> you think Bob Seger ever made chicken, chicken broth? A hundred percent. Yeah. And I bet he makes a damn good one too. I bet he bathes in chicken broth. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Fill the tub up. 74 gallons of chicken broth. Baste his tiny butthole. If you were to guess the size of Bob Seger's butthole, it would be smaller. No, he's or taking large. big shits, dude. Yeah. He's not taking thin squirrel dumps. I bet he's like Jaws. I bet you like a license plate falls out of his <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. every now and then. Yeah, I bet, I bet he has a muffler coming out of his ass. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't fart, it's just exhaust. <laughs> <laughs> it kicks. <laughs> <laughs> it's just air from this, the carcass. All right. All right, we're back. It's been Dude. close to four hours. Yeah. So this is the chicken fat, uh, the skin rather, the bones, any cartilage. From here, we're just gonna shred. Uh, it's boiled chicken, so there's nothing sexy about this at the moment. The purpose is to get the, the good stuff over there, which is the broth. I gotta be honest, it was a little more tedious than I expected. There well, it fell apart in the broth. In the broth, yeah. I cooked it like, they say like roughly like 90 minutes or so. Yeah. At 60, you're fine. 90, you're good. You're not really overcooking it. I'm not gonna keep it in there for the full four or five hours or whatever, so. Chicken was resting. It's very tender uh, tender and delicate, so you should be able to just shred this so that when you're eating a soup, you're not, you're not getting a bite that's too big. 
you know. For I you. like a big bite. Of course you would say that. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna do a double strain here. This is just to catch all the, the, the heavy shit that's gonna fall out of here. But first, I, let's go back to the clarity thing. <laughs> We're, that's gone. out the window. It's yeah, out the yeah, fucking yeah. window. We kept all the sauce yes. in. Yeah. yeah, because I took a bite of the, one of the carrots and they're fucking delicious. Dude. I know. They're so yes. sweet. So I have an old school potato masher. This boy, this is what the Wops and fucking Pollocks and all the, the homegrown Nonas, they use this to, <laughs> to do an original what, mash. Yeah, Irish probably do, the mix do it too. <laughs> Everybody does. <laughs> I'm gonna stir this up here so you can see what's doing, but you see the fat layer? You can skim this now. See, it'll stick to the spoon a bit. It's just gonna get all over my other stuff. So I'm gonna just let it go. So as we, you see this? It's all veggies, herbs that have been stripped from their stalk. It's all the good stuff. So I'm just gonna mash down and see what flavor I can get from the celery and the carrot. And this is just my choice at this moment. These veggies really did get sweet and I think this is gonna bring in a lot of color. People put tomato paste in their chicken broth to give it color. But if you take the time and you cook these veggies down a bit, it, it should be a nice golden color that's not artificial. It comes from the veggies themselves. That looks great, Chris. Thank you. I'm Lucky. Good, I'm good at this. Lucky. Yeah, this is like that moment in Jaws. Slow ahead, I can go slow ahead. Why don't you come down here and chum some of this shit? <laughs> <laughs> Why are you grabbing more chicken? I just said I need your help. Yeah, I'm having fun. Also, I felt like a hell of the act out. You what? I feel like it helped with the act out. I was doing the scene. Oh, sorry, dude. I Ooh, fucked that up. I fucked that up. Slow ahead, if you please. Oh, boy, this might be a big splash. Oh, <laughs> yep, got it on your shirt. That's all right. Looks amazing. Stay right there. Chris, this is perfect for that. All this stuff is... Way too rich to waste. Yeah, it's so good. This looking. is pure uncut cocaine. Hey, put that under a heat lamp, shove it up your nose. <clears throat> Two minutes, Turkish. Two minutes, five minutes ago. Hey, thanks for watching the clip. If you want to see the full episode of me and my pal here fucking off, uh, click here. Like and subscribe to this channel. Also, like and subscribe to our regular podcast channel, Stuff Island. Stuff Island. Patreon.com, where there's hundreds of hours of more stuff. We got cooking stuff. Patreon.com slash Stuff Island. Thanks. My mom's calling. <laughs>